A backside 360 is one full rotation, bringing your lead arm around in front of you and towards your tail for the direction. For example, a regular footed rider who stands left foot in front would spin backside by rotating clockwise. Creating spin momentum comes from combining a series of body movements at the right time. This rotational motion begins in your shoulders and head, continuing all the way down through your core muscles and into your hips and legs as you extend into your bounce. Timing these movements between the point of contact and point of release with a trampoline is the key to getting a proper initiation. When you initiate into the spin, keep your chin high, looking just above your shoulder in the backside direction. Keeping your chin high as you turn your head and shoulders into the spin will help your body stay upright. If your head and upper body are in an upright position, you will create a stable, flat rotation. After you've popped from the trampoline and begin rotating, pull your knees up. This will engage your core muscles in the air and reconnect your upper and lower body. Having a strong connection between your upper and lower body helps to maintain momentum, keeping the spin smooth and stylish. Keep your line of sight over your shoulder in the backside direction as you engage your core and your body rotates past 180 degrees. This will bring your head right back around to the direction you are facing on initiation, allowing you to spot the trampoline in front of you as your body completes the 360. Your line of sight is the key to landing a complete rotation. Keeping your eyes locked on a specific point in front of you or spotting the landing too early can stop your momentum. Get used to leading the spin with your head and you'll be stomping backside 360s in no time. This tutorial is filmed at Whistler Bounce. You're riding with Chase Baines from Snowboard Addiction and our goal is to improve your riding.